Scarlet are here, and today we're going to play Someone to Hold Me, developed by Mary for HGM 2024. So, a request made by the developer in the description of the game is that we need to play the game with care. Because this is going to be an emotional outlet. Yeah, that's the word. Let's start, shall we? Let's select a language. This can be changed in time from the option screen. Portuguese. Portuguese, Espanol, English. Someone to hold me, a short story. Start options. Interesting, I love, I love the title screen. It's perfect. Sorry? Okay, no, no, nothing, nothing weird. Start. The story is fiction inspired by real experience. Remember that there's a human being behind the words you read and the art you see. Good choice of music. Oh, wait. Was it? Oh yeah, that's supposed to happen. Sorry. DM request accepted. Oh, okay. This is terrifying. Skip auto history option. Him. Hi. Thanks for adding me. I've really enjoyed chatting with you on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. I think we have a lot in common. Oh, okay. Nice. Hey! Hi, hi! Oh, it's a flower. Just like me. Is my model there? Oh, my model is there, but it's so tiny. Give me a moment, actually. There we go, this is better. Me too, I really like talking with you. I've never met anyone who collect old movies like me. My friends here don't get it at all. I know how you feel, lol lol lol. They're missing out on the whole world of cinemat cinematic treasures. True, true. Hey, how about we go watch a movie in the big screen together? What do you think? Sure, sounds like fun. Yeah. Smiley face. Can't wait to see you. And maybe when we could, we meet, we, sorry, when we meet, huh? Sorry, my brain just fumbling with English right now. And maybe when we meet, we could make out a little. Oh, oh, uh. Can I scroll up? I, I I sure can, I guess, but... Hmm. Hmm. And stuff. LOL. Scene 11.25am. Is there a timer back then? No, okay. You're going on a date? Oh. This is very artistic. I, I understand the artistic meaning behind this. Interesting. Yeah. Ha, ah, finally, her huh, dear. You've always been a bit slower when it comes to things like this. Oh. Hey, what's it supposed to mean? Our little girl is growing up. Who are you comparing me to? Don't get me wrong, it's just that your sister are, are already married, so... Well, that's just nonsense. Everyone get married. You just haven't found the one yet. No, no, no. That's not how it is. That. Ah. I I love it. This is amazing, actually. Oh, don't be like that, sweetie. When I was your age, it wasn't big in. I wasn't big into the idea of marriage either. But then your old man here invited me out on the date, and I couldn't wait to spend the rest of my life with him. You'll find someone you love a lot and want to get married with them. Waking up next to the person you love every day is such a blessing. I heard some couples sleep in separate beds. Well, yes, when they're older, some couples do that. But you're a young lady, so there's other things that you want. But I... Love change you. It might not make sense at the moment, but when you find the right person, it's different. Anyway, don't mind us. We're getting too ahead of ourselves. Yes. Have fun on your date, dear. Sharing a bed with someone doesn't feel right to me. It sounds sticky and there's no privacy. But if I say that out loud, I won't be understood. When I imagine spending the rest of my life with one person, I know that you're not alone, okay? I know it's different than what the people around me want. I often see girls and women being compared to flowers. Flowers not in full bloom yet, that need something to happen so they can bloom. 
You know, I have always been bad with metaphors and double entendres. I... What does that mean? So for some time I imagine... Rain. That's what human girl need. Before a movie, I watched a little spelled it out for me, that's what I thought it meant. All flowers have the bloom. Because at some point, there's going to be rain. It's natural. It's how we are designed to work. If all girls are flowers, then I'm a flower too. Ah, you're going to bloom now. You're normal. That's what I felt my parents were telling me. I don't like thinking about complicated things. Everything should be simple, that's why, that way I won't be sad. But a really, really small part of me wondered if they were worried. Uh, sorry. The text is kind of lagging. And also I covered the dialogue box, such as well as that. Let me move myself a little. Maybe make so myself a little smaller, actually. There we go. That's just an uh, eternal struggle on my part. That I was in a normal city. I'm not a child anymore. I said I'm too young to think about that for so long. Everyone has already coughed up, so it's my turn now. How else should I look at it? Ah, friend A. Hey, 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 you wouldn't believe what so and so just told me. What, what? Right, so, oh my gosh, before that, look at my bo boyfriend's new profile picture. Ah, that's nice. Nice? Or like, smoking, huh? He looks just like that one actor from the show. The one was for the hottest man on earth last year. Hmm, I'm not sure who that is. Cool. I know the moment I look at my BF that he was the one. Markiplier? Though, probably not. I remember. I don't understand how she knew just from his looks. What if he's a bad person? You don't know if you're into similar hobbies or if he's not a complete jerk. So, how did she instantly know and decide to go after him? I just can't understand no matter how many times I think about it. Um, hey. Hey, can I ask you something a bit private? Sure, we're friends, aren't we? Good friends. Well... Are you, like, a lesbian? Um... It's just you don't sound very interested when we talk about guys. I... I don't know. How am I supposed to know? How do I tell romantic love apart from friendly love? Because I love you and my other friends a lot. Sorry for the sudden question, it's just... You've always been a... so... innocent. Uh, usually when you talk to, like, a person who is just, uh, what do you call it? Allo, allo, allo romantic? I I'm not sure what's the word. People who just feel casual romantic feeling, they will tell you, oh, this is what romantic feeling means, this is what friendship means, and they try to se separate it. But it is not that simple. They, they didn't... It's just like something they've taken for granted and never truly explore like how do how do you say it? Reflectively and objectively or through academic readings. So yeah, it is confusing. So it you're not alone. Even people who say that, oh, this is what romantic feeling means and this is what feelings mean. Maybe they don't truly understand what those means in the first place. You've always been so, uh, innocent. Uh, oof, oof, no, don't say that. And you never sound really interested when you talk like this. See, when you say something like that, that's basically an inf infantilization. You view the other person as if, like, oh, you're such a baby, or you're such a... Uh, shut the hell up. It's, it's a grown person who just have a different kind of methodological and folks like that it it doesn't mean that they are less and less than you in the capacity of thinking and stuff like that okay but maybe that's not what your intention but that's how people feel uh-huh have i read this and you never sound real interested when talk like this huh i started to wonder if you think about it at all uh, about what <laughs> you know Mm -hmm. You know it. Uh, 
I'm not sure what that means. Ah, okay. Or maybe I know, actually. Okay, uh, that's all. Don't you want to hurry and feel what it's like? When you see a good guy or a girl, don't you want to touch and kiss them? Um, yeah, t -t totally. Not. I have never ever felt that. That's valid. But I just want this conversation to be over. You're going to find the one someday, don't be sad. You're really cute and sweet. Come on, I'll introduce you to some of my friends. I know this guy who into movies too. Who's into movies too. Why do I have to find someone though? You don't have to, but I understand. That's how society has like tried to box us in on what on what to do and what to live on. Like or genders and stuff are like box set determine and we just we're basically dolls. It's good if you able to reflect on that and find your own self. That photo you shared on Instagram is so cute. You're really cute. Aw, thank you. I really can't wait to see you. I got the tickets for this weekend. I'm looking forward to watching the movie with you. Yeah, haha, the movie. Mm, see you in 4.13 p.m. That's what he sent me. I don't like this guy very much. Don't don't. He's really nice. I know, but isn't he... How do I say this? Oh, your friend saying that. I'm better at the reading room, but even I can tell that he's laying it on a bit thick. Yeah, unless... Unless, uh, y you know... Like, I, 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 I get it. There's like people who are flirty and stuff like that. But there is... You, you, you just can go honker... But don't curse at other people, you know. It's fine, like, if you want to flirt like that, but there's need to be a specific context and respect of other party and obviously asking them if they are comfortable with it. That's a good idea to do. Do you like him? Yeah, he's cool and we like the same things. Now, see, here's the convoluting part. People will assume, oh, like? You mean, like, love? The same way you like me? I think so. Oh, that's actually a very good friend. But you wouldn't go on a date with it, me. No, no, you're my friend. So you don't see him as a friend? I will. What do you want him to be? Boyfriend? You don't sound too sure. It's how it's supposed to go, right? You go on dates and then you start calling them boyfriend or girlfriend or partner. <laughs> God damn it. Hee how, partner? Ha, huh, wait, no, isn't there a feeling that's supposed to go with it? Love? I don't think so. You already have a lot of love for everyone. What feeling then? I'm not the best person to talk about this. But you know the feeling because you have a boyfriend. By the way, this is this is funny because I literally like discussed I literally discussed with my friend for like actually not I'm not sure if that's discussion because it's mostly just me fucking brainstorming a feel for two hours of what is uh, what's what's romance? What is romance and what is healing and stuff like that? What, what, what stands as relation? And I subject my friend to like that two hours brainstorming. Yes, I talk for two hours nonstop on a voice call with my friend to discuss that. <laughs> don't don't ask why. But you know the feeling because you have a boyfriend. What's it called? How does it feel like? I see they're confused. I don't know how to explain it. it, it just exists. Even, like I said before, like I already said. Jeez, you could help me out a little. How do I tell I want to be friends with him or I want to date him? Why are you blushing? Mm, um, er, tell me, what's your ideal special someone like? Nice change of subject, buddy. If I think about it though. They have to be a kind person. Bald? One that makes me smile and has a good sense of humor. I guess someone who understanding and supportive, I want to be with someone who accepts me for who I am. Oh, they need to like animals, <laughs> They have to be nice to all kind of animals, not just pets. Animals are like little indicators of person character, you know? Someone who tends to animals is usually comp compassionate and caring in general. It shows a lot about a person's heart. And they have to be someone who gets along with my friends. 
if they don't like my friends, then it wouldn't work out. My friends are a big part of my life. It has to be someone who's not only accepts, but genuinely enjoys being around them. I don't want to be in a situation where I have to choose between a partner and my friends. They have to be okay with me spending a lot of time on my hobbies too. And join in on them and support me when I talk about them. Is that a, is that a computer? A TV? Or a kiosk? It will be awesome if they enjoy movie nights together. That sounds just like you. But I meant to ask how they look like. Looks. I don't really care about looks, I think. When I think of me dating someone, they're usually just an average looking person. Or they don't have a body. Really? Yeah. Is that bad? Am I supposed to feel a different way? Maybe. <laughs> it, it is hard to determine as well. You can even argue that uh, the need of someone looks and body is not necessarily a romantic feeling, but just a sexual feeling. And, well, that makes stuff more complicated, isn't it? Now, where are you in this whole mess? In this whole sea of confusion, right? Hey, I have our tickets. I'm right by an entrance. I'm here! Oh, let's buy some popcorn later. This is my report for the first sexual reel that I've be ever been on. There were there times where I believe what I, I and my friend did could be counted as a date, but this time it was different. I approached him and he approached me with the intention to date. We weren't friends beforehand. The fact hung over my thugs the entire time. I was so nervous I couldn't even look at him for more than half a second. All the energy I had built up with while waiting for this day came to disappear, instead I was filled with a feeling called the name. Hey, we have some time until the movie starts, how about we eat something? Sh sure Where do you want to go? I am... You try to look up to him, but you can't. There's choices. You feel like eating something sweet, but your throat is dry. Yeah, both choices are great in making you feel the uh, dread. Is there multiple endings? Sorry. Okay, saved. Let's get some fries from that one place. Oh, okay. We ended up going to a restaurant together. The movie was in an hour and a half. We had almost two whole hours to fill with conversation. I let him order whatever he wanted and just nodded to his suggestion. But actually, I didn't want to eat fries at all. I don't like the fries from that one place. I also ordered two huge glasses of soda. I don't like drinking so much soda at once. My hand shook as I kept taking sips of soda and even one. When I did that, I could something couldn't stop thinking about what to say or do for a few seconds. Could stop thinking? I think it's cool. Something about the situation was keeping me frozen in place and about to think. Are you not hungry? The moment you saw him, all your hunger disappear. It will take a few days for you to digest the food you're eating right now. This fries tastes like shit, but your brain won't form any words. I had a big meal before I left my house. I sat on a chair in front of him at first, but after our food arrived, he moved to sit next to me. Oh, ooh. I had no excuse not to look at him anymore. Hello. But if you were to ask me what color his eyes were, I would then be able to tell you. Yep. Wait, let me check some details, actually. Apologies, okay? Uh, because I w I'm curious of how long this... Is, it, is this linear? Okay, so only one ending, an epilogue, and few post-game secrets. Interesting. You're really pretty. Thank you. You don't know how to take compliments, huh? I'm just not used to being called pretty. I blurred out about a bunch of stuff that happened to me in the past. As long as I talk about it, I could empty my mind of what was happening. He told me about himself and love as we realized we had a lot more in common, not just our hobbies. But the thing is, I could not love. I forced a out bouts of louder and snickering when he did, but none of it was real. At the time I thought it was just my nervousness that it will go away any second now. I know I should have said all of this out loud to him, tell him I was out of my element. But I really, really couldn't think. There was a huge glazy fox over my brain. Fog over my brain. When that happens, I tend to not belong to whatever the other person says. That was the problem. I couldn't say no. My friend told me about this article that talks about how women have a harder time saying no due to the expectations society hold over us. 
We have to be kind and soft-spoken and agreeable. The pressure to avoid being called difficult or mean, not fitting the nice girl mold. I only realized that what, that's what was going on weeks later when I finally got to process everything that happened. Your hand is so soft. What cream do you use? He kept petting and stroking my hand. I never romantically held hands with anyone before in my life. I just washed my hand with soap. The part of my brain that could still think woke up for a few seconds. Then I'm not comfortable with... Then, I'm not comfortable with this. I should have told him to stop. No, I don't want this. But then I remembered my friends and my parents. Their voices saying you can even handle this. <sighs> yeah. It... There's no need for you to follow them. Okay. It's just holding hands. Everyone does that. All the expectation they had about the date... A flower bloom it. My female friends go on dates with new guys often. They always say he was nice, but then the red flag started to show up. <laughs> Looking back, there were a few moments when the red flag should have been clear to me. But I was so, so out of it that I couldn't see them. I might have dissociated. Especially when he leaned in to kiss me. <gasps> Sorry, was I too fast? Yes, you were. Get away from me. That is too much. I'm going home. It's fine. That's that's a very good way of utilizing the choices and options, and especially affecting the player, like ethically. Well, I mean, this is a game. Speaking of experience, of course, it has the ethical element in it. <laughs> Why, why did I say that? When I wasn't fine at all, when it, what I was trying to prove. I should have paid the bill and gone home right then and there. But I let the date I was barely there for go on. After we finished the food and our huge glasses saw that he hugged me. He looked tired. We still have some time until the movie. Relax. For the first time in almost two hours we had been there, I felt good. I leaned my head on his shoulder and took a deep breath. Nobody have a, had ever helped me before. Being hugged feels so nice. Ah, oh, understandable. It's different from when a family member does it. He struck my hair and let me let me stay in his arm for a long while. So long we missed the start of the movie. I felt relieved. See this I like. See this I like. I want to be held. I want to have my hair stroke and be told I can relax for a few moments. I want to be taken care of by someone who cares for me. Mm, this is an interesting thing for me because I don't, I don't really feel this way. I don't, I don't feel really feel the need for this. Or maybe, maybe I do. I, I don't know. That's that's for me to find out, huh? Maybe I've got this after all. I can be like everyone else. Fall in love, be physically and romantically close to someone, move in together, get married, have kids. I can bloom. But you can bloom without those. We sat side by side and watched the movie. I put my head on his chest and closed my eyes. It was the most comfortable thing in the world. I was so cozy, I really paid attention to the movie. I guess it was about aliens or something. I was even okay with holding hands now, it was comforting. Everything was going to be fine. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Please. Yeah, can we get over this? <sighs> yeah. Same. I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. This is amazing, Mary. I hate this, 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 I hate this. Hate, hate, get that tongue away from me. Am I supposed to wait or? I'm gonna click. Thanks for today. Next time we can hang out somewhere fun.
My mouth tastes like soda, it was slimy. I hate it, why can't I say anything? I can't move. See you. Message me when you get home, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, did you get home, okay? I get it now. I was missing something. Something I received around me has. The reason why he, he was into it all gasping and holding onto me. While I felt absolutely nothing at first, a nothingness that took me a week to realize was actually... Disgust. And this whole idealization of what it would have felt like. The media I consume and the people around me swore up and down that everyone feels that way. And when I didn't, I... You wilted. I'm the only one who feels differently. But it isn't every girl meant to bloom someday. Does that mean there's something wrong with me? The fact that I want him to hold me, but not the way he wants to. The fact that he sees me in that way when I see him in another. How do I fix this? Shall I try again? What do I do? What do I do about myself? I'm sorry. You, you have blocked this contact. It's fine. Credits, main game, art, writing, and scripting, Mary, rent by coach, Daniel Westfall. Music? Music? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you for... Is that what, why you have been down so lately? Did I skip something? Sorry, I'm gonna go back, if I can. Ah! Alright, nothing escaped. Is that why you have been down so lately? Hey. Hello. Have you been alright since then? I'm worried about you. You speak as if you discovered something horrible about yourself. Would you explain to me why? I want to understand. I don't know if I can express myself well. Try. I want to hear it even if it doesn't make sense, any sense. I, ever since then, it's like I've started to notice a huge gap between me and the others. The gap's always been there, but I never cared for it. Because I thought one day I crossed the other side. I believe what everyone, even the movies I like so much, they've always said it was a matter of time. Not done. But I know that the gap isn't something I can. No, rather, it's not something I want to cross. The thought of making the jump makes me feel sick. And it's just gotten worse the more I think about what I want for my life. Everywhere I look, it's just couples and couples and more couples. The amount of friends I have that are entering relationships and achieving milestones just keep increasing. Like the world is telling me how wrong I am to not want that. I really thought my whole life that it was just a matter of finding the one person. But I was wrong, now it feels like everything upside down. I tried to say to myself maybe I should give it another try but everything in my body is saying no. I can ignore it. I... I don't know what to think of myself anymore. Something's wrong. No, there's not. There's nothing wrong with you. Yes, there's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with society though. With the whole system. Yeah, it's not your fault, All right? But listen to me. Look at me, please. <laughs> Lion, there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. Yep, but but I, discovering yourself is journey, and there's no normal or broken. You're still you. You don't have to fit into, under, into an, anyone's expectation, you're feeling your identity near you. It's all just another part of, of the wonder, per, wonderful person you are. I... I just... I just feel so alone. You're not alone, I'm here for you. And I'm sure if we do some research we can find more people like you. But what if I'm being really silly for nothing? What if everyone else is right and I've just not tried hard enough yet? Then... Who cares? 
who, who cares? Like I said, there's no meaning. Even if the world is against you, define your own self, you know? Yeah, but totally, you're not alone. But even if you're alone, if you feel that you're alone, does that matter? Well, did you know there are circular people of all kinds of sexualities and genders since long ago, even before cameras existed? They all have been diver diverse in their identities for centuries. The only difference now is that we have more language and understanding to express it. It's your story and you get to write it the way you want. We'll figure out it together, you're not alone. See? You're not broken here, you're definitely not alone. Sniffle. Come on, don't cry, I'm the one wearing this ridiculous bow tie, not you. Sniffle, you do like kind of silly. Ha ha ha. I'll have you know, bow ties and are the epidemic style. Hm, <laughs> nerd. If that's true, then you're the most stylish support system I could ask for. See, you laughter is the best medicine, you taught me that. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You know, I love you, Toms. I love you, dude. Maybe he's right. I can love someone in my own way. Yes, you do. Even if it's not how other people expect me to love. I'll probably have a lot of moments when I don't know what's going on. And maybe I'll realize more things about myself later on, which is fine. Maybe I'll find someone to hold me the way I want to be held, maybe I won't. Thinking about it is scary. But... I'll keep on going ahead the way I have always said. I'll be happy. With people who love me for the way I am right by my side. I'm really glad you're my friend, you know that. Same here. That's how I imagine my future. Credits main game art, writing and scripting. Mary Rand Picots, Dino Westfall, Nathan. There's two person now. Music, question mark. Okay, Oleski Kaplanyanski, Kevin McLeod, oh Kevin McLeod is there, Mao Damashi Kim Lighty here, Missy Kamasad by Bert Cole, Bit, B, Bit by Bitsound.com, HMIC, Spanish Translation, Bunchil, 18 and Nolly. Thank you for playing. Someone to hold you? Oh. Be sure to play, play more games for free. Uh, probably get a highlight on that. Oh no, oh no, my browser is opening, I have like a, a thousand tabs. Oh shit, I shouldn't have clicked that. My life is fucked. Okay, there's a few things. Secrets, right? Huh. Is, is, is that a thing? So, how have you been since then? It's not really done last time we chatted. I trust the jerkbag hasn't tried to contact you again. I'm really good. Really, really, really? Really, really? You're really okay? Scott's on her. Okay then, you wanna unpack whatever the heck that was? I already have. So you figured what you figured out what the missing feeling was? Yeah, it. You know, for a while after that happened, I wondered if maybe I'm just not the guys. That could be it. But have you ever felt that feeling for girls? Nope. That's why I don't wonder anymore. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything either. It looks like most people want to do that kind of relationship, but not me. I don't see it as something necessary. That's valid. Do you want a bottle to cuddle with? A first friend any cuddles for you. I sent some by, ma by, ma by mail. I'm so near again. I less. Hmm. But you know, I still feel bad for blocking him. You don't need to feel bad about blocking person. Don't do it, you're too good for this world. I'll just try. No, 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 black the, the trash man. Get it back. No! Okay. Hey. Are you doing okay? I swear to God. If you say something stupid, I will fucking punch you in the face. Okay. Honestly, not really. I'm still trying to understand what went wrong. If you are uncomfortable, why did you keep saying you were fine? Well, stuff happened, but uh, it's a valid question, but yes, yeah, st stuff happened. Sometimes people just kind of talk, you know. I can read your mind. 
I don't know. I think we were having a good time together. I'm sorry. Sin. See? Turns out he's really a scumbag. Uh, I'm... I mean... I'm not really sure that it's like a definitive scumbag, but yeah. But yeah, the action before... Kinda. Kinda, kinda, I guess. Good riddance. I still feel bad. Don. He took advantage of you. He knew you were out of it. Did he? I know the type. God damn it. Why are you... <laughs> this, this is me. Yeah, every time I, like, uh, get into a, like, fight or block someone, I'm, I'm always like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just too harsh or stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to understand person better as well. If he really were such a good guy, he would have ask, ask for permission before shoving his tongue down your mouth. That's valid. Like I said, like I said before, like from the message, mm, not too bad, but shaking into like the back of the situation. No, 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 no. Trash, throw the whole thing away. You always have me, you know that, right? Yeah, I love you. I love you too. Smooch, smooch, platonic. Did you? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Can we go back to your gossip? Okay, let's talk about fun things then. Yeah. I don't like thinking about complicated things. I want to be happy. Just the way I am. Just the way you are. I just noticed there's a skip button. There. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you become a cat? Thank you for playing. If you, enjoyed the if you enjoyed the game, leave a rating and a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I almost say I've enjoyed the game like the developer just said. <laughs> hey, I play the game and I enjoy it. You should enjoy it as well. Okay. Oh. Did, did I miss anything? BRB, I'm just gonna do a quick check, okay? Hold on, there is something! Respond truthfully, you don't know how this makes you feel, ignore. Yes, this is... Look, look, look at this, this is the same chat. But there's this choice. I'm not comfortable with that, you're going to fast, it's overwhelming. I don't think we should do this. Let's just be friends. If only that was what happened. I can stop. Thinking of what could have happened if things had been different. If you say something to someone, say it clearly, don't waste even a day. I thought I learned that already. Yeah. It is a hard thing to learn. That's interesting. What other things are there? Okay, so I check and... Oh, you can see them smile. There we go, I'm in the flower section now. So I guess that's all for someone to hold me. I hope you enjoy it. It's a very interesting game. It it it, it really makes you it how do how do I say it? It really delivers the experience that you the, the experience the writer trying to confirm through throughout the whole mechanic of the game, through the design and everything. It's just cool. The sound, the art, yeah, everything is just perfect in this game. Also, yeah, it's understandable, like I've talked, you're, you're not alone. You're ace and you're feeling that, oh, maybe this is weird, maybe I'm fucked up, maybe I'm broken. No, you're not. You're you're a person. You're a not, uh, what's the word? You're a person like everyone else, like other people. You're not alone. But, yep, I guess... Really good game from Mary, as always. See you later then, in my next video. Bye bye, and like I said, have fun, and you're not alone.